my son had a little bit of a panic slash anger attack and decided he wasn't going to help, which is fine. So we move on. Um, I have a lot of issues with my son due to some trauma in his childhood from his father. And it's bad. So, you know, that's one of the things I struggle with. And cleaning is therapeutic. Um, I give credit for that to someone I watched on YouTube. Like, she just, you know, I always felt better when I cleaned. And then I never, like, just really thought about it, I guess. And she was saying how it's literally therapy for if you're depressed. Um, and you know, I don't know. Just clean with me. Let's listen to some good music or something. Uh, I don't know what I can put on YouTube for music. I would like to listen to that uh, thank you song. I love that song. I love the whole Moana soundtrack. It is fantastic. In my opinion, anyway. Um, I also liked, uh, for musicals, you guys like musicals? A lot of people love them and a lot of people don't. Um, I like Les Mis. I like Femme the Opera. I honestly haven't seen that many musicals. I've seen... Oh, uh, what's that one? Double deer, female deer, like a thousand times. <laughs> Sound of music. Um, ouch. I've seen that a lot of times. Um, what else though? Not, I haven't put it in like recently to watch. I should. I love Les Mis. It has to be the best musical of all time. I have also heard from my niece and nephew who love musicals that uh, Hamilton is fantastic. Oh, so if you like musicals or not, let me know in the comments. That's how I get to know you guys. And um, let me know what your favorite musical is. If you like musicals. And if you don't, well, you can tell me you don't or don't do anything at all. I don't know. <laughs> um, I know a lot of couples where it's like the woman loves musicals and the man doesn't. But I also know lots of women that don't like it. It doesn't really matter, obviously. I'm literally just blah, blah, blah right now. I have to get this window open. Now my hands are wet. So I got a bucket of water. Um, and that's really just for rinsing out this rag. Um, but I'm just using vinegar and water. That's all you really need to clean a window. And then, you know, you wipe it all off with... I wipe mine off with a um, dry rag. And that removes streaks when you dry it off. Um, when I was like, I don't know, I want to say like 15, I was in eighth grade, we cleaned um, a campground, a Bible campground, a huge campground, lots of yucky bathrooms. <laughs> Um, and but we, there was lots of glass too, like the fellowship hall was huge and had huge glass windows. We were right on Lake Ontario, really pretty. Um, but anyway, they didn't even face Lake Ontario, those windows. I don't know what they needed. It was crazy, crazy building with huge windows. Um, so, you know, I just had to learn how to not get streaks on the windows. And... I mean, I'm really having to rub for this, my goodness. But I remember one of the tricks was, like, after you sprayed it down with a Windex, wipe it down really good, get your spots off, and then dry it with a dry one. I hate when there's spots on my windows with a bad show. See, you know... I get overwhelmed with how many things that I'm responsible for and how many things I have to do. And being that I have an anxiety disorder, 
uh, I feel a lot of anxiety when there are small things that normally wouldn't cause people anxiety. So, um, you know, it's been a wow, 20 year struggle, 23 years, more than that. Holy cow. 43. I was like 18, I think around there when I had my first panic attack. I had no idea what it was. Um, I remember both my mom and I both thinking that I was having a heart attack, even at 18, because of my symptoms. Turned out that wasn't it at all. Went to the emergency room a few times for something like that, and they never found anything. And then my dad called me to tell me that I should go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> so I did. And it turned out that I have an anxiety disorder. So that's my blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't know how to put music on here. Um, yeah, I, or fast forward anything. I have a really great clean window now. How can you guys see that? Yeah, that's way better, right? Isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of that mess over there. That's going to be fun. It's kind of needs organizing. Oh, actually, I'm going to do that outside of that one, I guess. A lot of that stuff is tools and like outdoor stuff that is just um, not outside right now because it's winter. Ooh. How do you do this? Okay, wait, I got to lift. Wait. <laughs> Are we oh, that light scares the crap out of me. There's a light outside that's a motion sensor. And it's flashing. Because it's an LED. I just thought someone was taking a picture of me. That would cre creep me out. Ugh. Well, I'm going to have to notify uh, the manager here. I let our lights are blinking. Ugh. If it is not one thing, it is another. You hear a lot to fix things, at least. Uh, at least they fix things, right? <laughs> um, I love this apartment that I have. It's pretty big. It's definitely the biggest one I've ever had. And I, um, I get social security disability because of my anxiety being so bad, it really has caused me a lot of issues in my life that I never would have thought would be issues in my life. Um, normally, I would say, like, you know, growing up, I was very social. And then I just stopped when I first started having panic attacks and stuff. I didn't want to go outside. Because when I would, I would feel weird. And um, I didn't want to have another one of those attacks. And my, my whole train of thought had changed so much. Um, it's really crazy, but it became very fearful. So uh, for a while, I did not even want to go outside. I would feel uncomfortable going outside. I'm an outdoor person. <laughs> um, but my fear was actually seeing people and having to interact with them. Which is crazy because I'm a social person. Uh, well, I was. And, um, this is definitely, I feel like, a really good way for me to work on that part of me again. Because that is who I am being social, like wanting to know people and stuff like that. Anxiety is all that fear that's like, oh, well, you won't, you won't do it right. You won't, you won't follow through. That's my biggest thing. Um, I don't want to do that anymore. I do not want to do that anymore. It just really seems not cool that I get to that I have in my life and my cousin doesn't and this is how I'm living it. I'm mean, not living it terrible, but I gotta get some control going on here. I mean, I have put on some poundage, which, oh, I should have rephrase that every time I, I refer to like my weight um, because 
I don't care about being fat. I really don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm sure other people care what I look like when I'm fat, but I don't. Um, totally has to do with what I don't feel well a lot. Now, I have fibromyalgia uh, as well, which actually is directly related to anxiety and all of those things. Um, a lot of times if you have fibromyalgia, you have the other things I mentioned, anxiety, depression, IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, for me. <laughs> um, um, weird things like yawning excessively. Ugh, I don't even want to talk about it because I'll start to it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, hopefully it doesn't turn into an excessive thing. That hasn't helped. I don't know what has happened. Just not as much as it used to, but excessive yawning is actually a, a symptom of fibromyalgia. What? So I thought it was so weird because, and I would tell people and they'd be like, what if that really happens to you? What are you even talking about? I start yawning and I can't stop. And it's usually at night when I'm trying to fall asleep. And I wear a sleep apnea mask. <laughs> right for me. And um, so my eyes are watering and they're all getting pulled into the plastic thing around my nose. So then it kind of just goes around my whole nose. My whole outside of my nose is what is just not pleasant. <laughs> Um, it's just really annoying. I just have to like wait for it to go away and it's weird. I feel like I need to, I know I'm going to do this to myself. Oh, power for mine. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. I got distracted by cobwebs. Oh, I lost my train of thought. That happens a lot lately. I really think it's because... I eat crappy food. Also, I think that some of the medication that I'm on probably causes memory loss eventually. That is not cool. Ugh. That's why I want to exercise more. And if I can, like, maybe bring down the amount of medications that I'm taking. I don't know, because I tried to stop taking my medications before. I did it the wrong way, though. Completely the wrong way. Uh, I just stopped taking them. Not totally cold turkey, but I like weaned myself off, which was a lot faster probably than the doctor would have. And I was so sick for months and months. It was like an entire summer. And um, it was like two or three, maybe four months even. And um, I was so sick. Finally... I just, I went back to the mental health doctor and told him what was going on. And he just looked at me and said, Tara, we know, you know you have depression. Like, these are all depression symptoms. So, that's, that's what it is. And I explained to him what I did with my medicine. He was like, yeah, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> and you, you need it. I just, I don't like Big Pharma. I really don't, I don't trust them. And I just, some of these meds have been around for a while, but yeah, I just do not trust. I don't trust a lot, I guess. <laughs> Alright, how do I do this last time to wash this? So, how do you do this? Does this one come in? Yeah, it does. How do I do it? I do last time. Does it go past that? No. How am I supposed to wash that? How am I supposed to wash it? Okay, some this has to happen differently. Ah, okay, little engineer. Are you going to be mad at me for nothing still? I get done. Well, I guess I'm going to reach out the window and try this. This must be what I did last time. It should, like, come in. Phew. I'm not mad at you. Would you run away 
you saying you were dumb and useless for? That was weird. Because <laughs> I'm useless. I can't really do much. I can't do anything. That's crap. Or did you just expect yourself to be a film pro, you weirdo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's kind of silly, right? Uh, you just gotta start. It's like YouTube. Just click record. Just hit record. I click. Okay. Sir? Ma'am? Ma'am? <laughs> what? Ma'am? Yes, sir. What? Why are your, uh, why are your eyes so close? Wow, this I've is I've been calling so on you and you're dirty. And I've been scratching your butt. And everything. He's talking to the cat. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm not scratching my butt. <laughs> Scratching your butt. Oh my goodness, got it. This is all turning to ice as I'm washing it. I love it. Now I need to shake it off. Goodbye. I get rid of these spider webs that have been here for 15,000 years. 10,000 years. We'll give you such a crack in the neck. Ma'am, may I say you're adorable? You are very tiny and adorable. May I show the world the adorableness I have? Nope, not right now. My window's getting very clean. Yeah, you can bring her over here. You see the frame is like right in here with me. So bring her over by me. This is our kitten. Originally, we named her Violet America, uh, but she has acquired the name Squeak because she doesn't meow. She gives you a little squeak. Squeak! I love it. She'll come flying on the stairs when I get face. home and she'll be like, Squeak! <laughs> I hope they couldn't see my face because I'm going to have to... You should cut that out. I don't want to... Oh, stop. I don't want them to see my face. I don't want them to see my face. Oh, whatever. Too, too freaking handsome. Silly. <laughs> it's like the worst time of year to decide to do this. It's freezing. <laughs> like, literally, the window where I sprayed it, it's like frozen vinegar and water. Does vinegar freeze? <sighs> it must, because it's frozen right now. Why can't I get this window open? These windows need to be replaced. Be Gosh, they're terrible. Can't be there too we need some window replacements. My landlord is not going to like me when I tell him, yo, dude. Sorry about that. Kitten. Kitten. She's not going to jump, but don't do that. <laughs> Scare your mommy and your brother. To death. You're, you're coming back here. Um, <laughs> this is fun. I'm not letting you not go. Really, kitten. it's difficult. Unless That's why you go I gotta get shake so I can wash windows. Good. <laughs> Um, like, also, my muscles are weak, 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 weak. Like, you can feel how weak they are, and I don't like it. I gotta change it, I gotta, I gotta. <sighs> it's not fun. What was that? <laughs> There's little chunks she of it. She just thought. went, a week? A week? Yeah, she literally said, a week. <laughs> <She's> weird. <laughs> I love the noises she makes. You know who else is like that? A spring dog. Eep. Hannah's. Eep. Cat. You mean eep? Eep. eep. Yes. Eepy. Eep is also the name of the girl on the cruise. Wow, that's so cold out there. All right. Yeah, so much for that. Close the window, close the window, close the window. Or freeze and die. It's oh my cold. gosh, that's so cold. <laughs> it's like 19 degrees out. My... My arm feels like I had it laying on an ice cube. Let me see. Oh no, I'm fugitive. Hang on. It's not that cold. You are just... It's 19. It's probably like 16 degrees. I don't even know what it is right now. It was negative one the other night. Last night, two nights ago. I don't know. New York is weird weather. Don't tell them the state we live in. You also can't know my height. Uh huh. Okay. He doesn't want you to know that he's taller than me. He doesn't want to show off. You know what? Hi. There. That's all you're getting. <laughs> That's Aaron. That's all you're getting. Yeah, right. He can't not know. Keep his face out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like wear masks or something. All right, so. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to dry off uh, the sides. <sighs> Do I want to cover the enti entire, like, thing? I'm kind of thinking about covering the entire thing. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I really am thinking about it. This window is so cold. Well, I'll just do... I 
Yes, I'm here. Oh boy. Mother, what, dude? Yes, Should we love? make our next, next video Q and A? Already? Yeah, we could. We could. We could do we a question and answers. But I don't have any we questions. Tell them stuff. We could also tell them stuff. Well, first of all, I, as of right now, we have like no viewers. <laughs> yeah, but when they see our video, kind of we early. Go back. Yeah, but that's true. But. Now we on the question and answer thing. As always, of course, as always, like I've said this before. Um, if you want to leave me comments and ask me questions, that's cool. If there's something you want to see a video about, let me know. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this plastic wrap on here now, and we can chat some more. Just gotta go grab plastic wrap. <laughs>